Welcome to lesson two of authentication and authorization. Using Microsoft Identity Platform. In this lesson two, we shall be looking at authentication. Using Radzin's laser server template. In lesson one, we looked at authentication using Microsoft uh, laser server template. Um, we are going to use part of the guide from Microsoft. Uh, part of so, of course, you need to have .NET 7. You need to have an Azure account that has an active subscription. So uh, you could create an account for free here. And um, if you are like me, who is uh, who might uh, maybe you if, yeah you like, you you due to what is in the other you have an, you have issue. Uh, Creating an Azure free account. You could also uh, register for Office 365 developer program and um, let me click on the link at the top. It says join the Microsoft Office 365 developer program today, and uh, you get an instant start sandbox configured sample data, blah, blah, blah. So now, um, I'm already signed in as a uh, Benjamin SQL Server at zzq0l.microsoft.com. That is my uh, Microsoft Office 365 developer account login. So that's what I'm going to use for the tutorial today. So first thing first, um, you you need to register the app in the Azure portal. So let's do that. Uh, there is a shortcut for my Office 365 uh, that I have in my mail. Uh, if you are using Office 365, it's called, you will see Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So this is the link for it down to login using this my account. This is my Office 365 account. Office 365 developer account. I click sign in. Yeah, I've approved uh, on my authenticator app. Say yes. So uh, let me under applications. I'm going to click on app registration. You can see I have an app ready called Benjamin SQL SQL Server. Let me create a new registration. So let me call this one Razin Blazor Server AD. Uh, 
um, supported account type, we can use this application and access this API. I'm used for now, I'm saying accounts in this directory only. Select a platform LB Web. Uh, let me enter this and I click on register. So that is done. Then under manage, select authentication, implicit grant, and IP flows. So under manage, select authentication. This implicit grant and hybrid flows. Then select ID tokens and then select save. ID tokens. Then within the same app registration under manage select certificates and secrets and then client secrets certificates and secrets then make sure you select client secret and plus uh, let's call this AD login Let's call this as well AD login for Rising Java Login. Uh, let's leave the expiry date at six months. Let me click add. Now, I want to take note of, of some values. This is the secret value I want to copy it here. Submit it. Huh? Secret ID. Copy it. Yes, I need it. This is my domain name. Save that. So having done all this, the next thing is for me to go to the overview page for my hub, Rising Blazor Server ATM. Now, let me copy this. Let me go to, let me uh, search, let me start using Blazor Studio. Uh, continue trial. So a new application. Blazor server application, click next. 
the name of the application is Dragon Blazor Server AD Demo. Uh, these are different stops you can use. Uh, let me use uh, Material Dark Team C. I'm going to save it on C drive. Dragon Blazor Server AD Demo. Then I click Finish. So the app is ready. Let's run it for the first time. So this is how the app looks. Let's click stop. Now let's go to security. So this time around, we are now going to click on Azure AD. Then we click next. Yeah. Instance is login.microsoftonline.com. Domain. This is the domain. The domain for my Office 365 developer account. How about tenant ID? Where do you get tenant ID from? This tenant ID. Where do you get client ID from? This is client ID. This is client ID. Then you click finish. So it tells you how in security. So the next thing we want to do is to run our project again. So now, this time around, I'm directed to login at Microsoft Online. So I've entered my passport. Uh, send, accept, 
So you can see I have successfully logged in. Uh, it shows my name as uh, Benjamin Fadino, and I can log out. Thank you for watching.